Hi, in this video, we will discuss the multi-criteria analysis. The multi-criteria analysis, or MCA, is a tool to structure the decision-making processes and to assist in finding the optimal choice between conflicting goals. In this analysis, different possibilities are reviewed and compared. The MCA structures complex decisions into clear and insightful results, or outcomes, that can be easily justifiable. The MCA takes into account diverse and possibly conflicting criteria. The importance of the different criteria are taken into account and the alternatives are reviewed. When all the criteria are put together and are being analysed, an advice can be generated. For example, let's say that you are trying to decide where you want to study. The MCA process consists of several steps. The first step is formalising and grouping the different criteria. So, let's say you are thinking about studying in Amsterdam, Delft, Rotterdam or Leiden. You want to take into account the housing costs, the university ranking, the overall student life and the study facilities. After you know what your criteria is, you need to determine the scores per alternatives. The next step is standardisation. In order to be able to compare and combine the different scores, they need to be displayed on a comparable scale. The criteria of housing costs are difficult to compare with university ranking. Standardization portrays these criteria on a new, similar scale that is between 0 and 1. 0 is given to the worst performance and 1 to the best. Once the criteria are standardized, they no longer have a unit. However, these standardized scores are only applicable for the current analysis. Weights need to be ascribed to the different criteria. What is the difference in importance per criteria? Once the scores have been standardised and the weights have been ascribed, a ranking of alternatives can be established. In our example, when all the criteria and weights have been taken into account, Leiden would be your preferred choice. Thank you for watching and see you in the next tooling video.